And we are live. Bienvenidos and welcome back, familia. Thank you all so much for joining me. I've been watching, I've been keeping an eye on the uh, on the live chat here. Um, I don't know why my, my thing says it, there are zero people on board. If you can hear me, uh, please give me a thumbs up. You'll see me watching the screen up here, okay? So, <laughs> um, okay, good. Now it says 33 people on online. <laughs> Excellent. That's a good number to start with. So I'd like to welcome you all to the rewatching of The Chosen. We want to catch up uh, before the big release of season three this upcoming Friday in theaters everywhere, November 18th. And we're getting ready for that. And if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you can get your tickets in the link that is uh, in the description down below. Erica is also helping out and she'll add the link. Um, I believe that I pinned the link on the on the live chat as well. So if you're ready, if you're ready to get started, let me know by putting uh, some some hearts on the live chat. I just go crazy with with emojis on the live chat while we get right before we get started. Let us know that you're ready to go. If you want to let us know where you're watching from, um, yeah, you could do so as well. If there's anything that we could pray for you ahead of time, uh, post it on, on the live chat. And if, and if you're seeing prayer requests on there, please offer a, a prayer to whatever is needed. So we're going to get started soon. Um, I do want to say that um, I'd like to thank the people over at Angel Studios for uh, helping uh, with this project, for allowing us to rewatch it. So thank you so much. Uh, these next few episodes are brought to you by the Angel Studio app. If you haven't yet downloaded the app, you can uh, please do so. Download the app. You'll uh, get access to all of the previous chosen seasons. Uh, so if you if you can't watch it with us here today, watch it at your own at your own time. Catch up, you know. Um, it's important that we get those tickets for this opening weekend, and I'll explain a little bit more in detail later, but uh, we want to just get started right away, and I'll go, I'll explain a little bit more about it uh, shortly. Um, all right, so um, I, I just want to point out a couple of things. We are going to be pausing and, and having a conversation, okay? This is a watch party. But we're not just watching The Chosen. We're experiencing The Chosen. We're going to have a conversation. I might have questions that I didn't have in the previous time that we watched it. Um, and so I am going to pause it and ask you all uh, some questions. And I'd love your participation uh, with this, okay? A uh, few, few rules for the live chat. Please be respectful, okay? Um, I do understand that a lot of you um, worship differently. And you all are sometimes you're part of different churches and different churches have different ideas of certain things. And we, we respect that. OK, we, we respect that. But we're here to be together and to learn more about our father through the story of his son. And um, and, th and that's that's the goal here. So please be respectful. If someone should come into the live chat and they're disrespectful, let's not just delete their their comments right away. OK, unless they're swearing or they're advertising some inappropriate stuff, then let's do that. But if they're just expressing themselves, let them express themselves. All I ask is that if you disagree, just tell that person you love them. So, for example, if Leonardo Torres is on there saying something, you know, that's to you seems off the chart, just say, hey, I love you, Leonardo. You know, God bless you, Leonardo. And that's it. Just bless them. Love them. Um, just like we were taught. OK, just like we're told to, to do. Love our enemies. Love those that that we do not agree with we're going to put that into practice in the live chat today um we're going to start off by by first of all a, a little moment of of gratitude and we're going to show our gratitude to our father father thank you so much for allowing us to get together here today to learn more about you to experience your love to experience your 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 light we ask that you continue to guide us as we're watching this uh, this show. Show us what we need to show. Touch the hearts that need to be touched. Heal the people that need to be healed. Um, give us insight. Solve our, our help us resolve our issues. Give us the wisdom that we need to resolve our personal issues. Father, we we ask you to protect us from anyone who's who's seeking to do us harm um, in in this uh, get together. Please uh, light the way. Uh, Shine your light on us and let us see your your heart. Let us see your heart. Let us see your love. Um, we, after all, we are here to learn more about you and uh, and to experience your love on a different on a different level. So if you're ready to go, familia, we're uh, we're gonna get started. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I forgot to close that off. In your son's name, we pray. Amen. Um, let me share my screen here with you all. Uh, Chrome. Watch The Chosen, share that, beautiful. All right, cool, so we're ready to get started. 
I'm going to make this screen smaller. Sorry, I'm just making notes to myself uh, so I can keep keep an eye on the chat and watch this. All right. If you, I'm going to play a little bit of it. If you can't hear, let me know. I can adjust volumes and stuff, but you just let me know if you can hear this, okay? Oh, hang on. Oh, wrong, wrong uh, speaker. Just give me one quick second. Settings here. Audio. We're going USB and we're going, yeah, USB attached. What? Why is it sounding over there? Give me one second. What? Um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hang on one second. What's going on? Why can I not hear it here? Uh, let me switch external headphones. USB advanced. Okay, I can hear that here. Why can I hear that over there? Uh, huh. Oh, boy. I thought I had all of this set. Familia, give me one quick second. Let me change the audio on my on my settings. Um, uh, sound. USB. Nope. Come on, man. <laughs> Output. Um, USB. Perfect. All right. I got it over here now. Can you all hear that? We're missing Dragon Day. I'm coming. Can you hear that? What are the rules when you're in town? Stay together. Perfect. Excellent. When I'm glad. Thank you so much. <laughs> this seems interesting, too, to me. We are truly indebted to our brave and magnanimous host. Tink. You can't just run off. Over oh, is black carriage took three children last month. When you ran off, I know that's I not the chosen. Really alone. We're moving really? forward, okay? Here we go. I just wanted to make sure really? that everybody could hear. I can't skip it. I guess I could skip it this one. Nope. Where'd she go? All right, we're gonna we're gonna watch the ad. Welcome to the live chat, Tracy. Welcome, Wallflower. Appreciate you so much for being here. We have to get out of sight now. All right. It is almost over, so we have to bear the ads. Perfect timing. Here we go. Excellent. All right, let's do this. The Chosen is based on true stories of the Gospels of Jesus Christ. Some locations and timelines have been combined or condensed. Backstories and some characters and dialogue have been added. We all know this, right? And we respect this. Sounds bubbly. the words Adonai's words from the prophet Isaiah from the prophet Isaiah right thus says the Lord who created you O Jacob and he who formed you O Israel fear not come out I won't hear you say it 
I want to hear your pretty voice. Come. <laughs> Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. You are mine. That's Oh boy. She tried to kill me. She tried to kill me. Somebody. Somebody. What's that? You filthy dog. Demons. They live inside her. Get your back. Here we go, familia. Let's get some uh, let's get some fish in the live chat. If you're dancing, let's do some dance uh, emojis on there. I love the detail on this, by the way. Just how they turn. I love how they um. The attention to detail on that. You hear the scream. You see her hands. It's, per it's beautiful. Beautiful work here. Action family, beautiful. <laughs> sure. Big shout out to Lynn. We got Dori Ocasio in the house. DL Norman, thank you so much. Joanne, welcome. Melissa Hum, thank you. Kathy. Diane, welcome. Erica Ayala in the house as well. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do this. <laughs> Forgive me, Rabbi. I do not see what he is doing, but a woman ahead. Have you stopped us? It's not enough to say hello. <laughs> I'm on official business. Only Roman business is official business. My name is Quintus. I'm the Praetor of Capernaum. And I am. You are the great Nicodemus. Word travels fast. Are you arresting me? <laughs> oh, my friend. I'm a magistrate, not a military man. I serve the will of the people and Pilate. And I serve only God. Yes. Yes, so do your enemies, His Sadducees, face. the Essenes, the Zealots, rogue preachers in the wilderness, raving about a coming Messiah. They're all vying for the people's affection. What do you want, Quintus? I believe taxes are going unpaid. If you help me, I will help the Pharisees continue to thrive. How can I? People already drowning in tax. Tell me, Nicodemus. What can be under the water and yet never drown? Fish? <laughs> the way he asked that is a question. Fish? He's like, he's hoping he doesn't say, you know, dead bodies. <laughs>
Like, this is beautiful. The pace, these tiny little shots to give us a little insight into, into what it's like to be Matthew. You know, he's very organized. He's very clean. He likes to smell good. He likes to dress good. The sound design, you can hear the flies. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> that's an appropriate reaction. Bless you. <laughs> Keep your voice down. Pardon me, Mr. Public Amos. It's me that don't want to be seen with you. <laughs> I like it the other way, tax man. Hey, 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 it's a month's salary for all my sons combined right there. You just toss them out? These are my property. I do with them as I wish. I pay you to drive. You sift through trash on your own time. Driving you's a bit of both now, isn't it? <laughs> if any citizen asks about my cargo, I must tell the truth. <laughs> it's the biggest pile of dung in all Capacity. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. No, honestly. I always look forward to my annual visit to Capernaum and your magnificent Sea of Galilee. It is truly the envy of the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Even my children are enamored of it. All day they would swim, frolic in the sand, and watch the people. Finally, one day I said, you love it here so much. Why is it you never go to the sea when we visit your grandparents back home? My son, he just shrugged and said, but father, there's never anyone there. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and your sea boasts the most exquisite fish. How unfortunate that those who do the actual fishing are unholy. Foul mouths given to gambling in secret dens and even fishing on Shabbat. Can we eat the catch and not be stained by the sins of the catcher? Make no mistake. It is a sin to eat fish caught on Shabbat. What goes into the body of a man defiles him. Why are our Jewish brethren taking their boats to sea on Shabbat? I assure you, the Messiah will not come until this wickedness is purged from our midst. Your actions are being watched, studied. God has entrusted you to be exemplary in every way. Now, if your status mm. is too great a burden, you do not deserve to bear the name of Israel. I didn't really pay attention to that conversation I the first time. I want to see my reflection in it plain as day. This teacher has traveled all the way from Judea. He is a member of the great Sanhedrin in Jerusalem, and I won't have him seated at the dull table. Yusuf, fix your talit. Here he comes. Away, go, get the others. Bye bye. Teacher, you have moved us all. Shmuel? Will you do us the honor, Rabbi? If that's where you keep the white sardines. Uh, 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 we certainly could get. It was a joke, Shmuel. <laughs> <laughs> a fine Torah room. Look at the lighting the here. The heartbeat of a worthy synagogue, Shmuel. Thank you, teacher of Israel. You do us a great honor. The honor is mine. Not only for your bright students, but also for the soul of this city. You heard my address. Of course, your words will resonate for generations. You were luminous. In my remarks, <laughs> I asked for rhetorical purposes, why are Jews taking boats to sea on Shabbat? That question was meant for you, Rabbi Shmuel. The reports are becoming too frequent to ignore. Of course, Rabbi, we, I will control it better. 
the Romans believe we do not work on Sabbath, thus they do not patrol. Greed has overcome the fishermen. Or they are just trying to feed their families. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. your pardon, Rabbi. Uh -oh. The centurion is here. He demands to speak with you. <laughs> Please tell him we have an honored guest and cannot be interrupted. I can't wait. Messiah, come quickly. <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're not the only ones taxing the people. Wow. What do you want, Commander? I'm no commander, but at least you know your place. This is Nicodemus, teacher of teachers. Show some respect. Ah, just the man I want to see. I'm here about a Hebrew woman in the Red Quarter. Let's just say she's been causing a disturbance. You have an entire Roman legion at your disposal. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> she needs a holy man. We are men of God. It is not our custom to frequent the red quarter perhaps i wasn't clear teacher of teachers <laughs> you'll accompany me to the red quarter or we'll burn it down with our fire of fires wow all right can, can you all just help me with something really quickly what what is it exactly how do we feel about nicodemus's character here do you think that does he strike you as the type of person who cares more about being able to see his reflection on a table about cleanliness about the way that things are placed for him to arrive or is he the type of person who cares about the law and making sure that everything is done in the manner that it should be with regards to how, what pleases god not what pleases him more to say um, more or less right um here we have him <laughs> entering um, I, I saw somebody ask, is it wrong to like Nicodemus? I don't think it's wrong to like Nicodemus. Uh, the actor played his role beautifully. Um, I, I understand sarcasm and cynicism. I, I'm not, I don't say that proudly, of course, but, uh, but I do understand it. And so I, I just get a kick. I just get a real laugh out of how some of these characters are really sarcastic. Like this guy who just said, thank you for the reminder. <laughs> like, yes, uh, you know, you didn't need to remind him that he of who he was in his place uh, with the government. Right. But anyway, how do we feel about about that? Um, about Nicodemus? Is he the type of person who cares more about how things are presented to him or does he care more about what's pleasing uh, to God? Um, Nicodemus is steeped and rigid religious ritual when we first meet him, but hearing about. And then meeting Jesus changes him. Yeah, after meeting it changes him. What pleases God is for Nico. I think this is the second one. I think Nicodemus cares and loves God and his fellow man. I think he only brought up the fish because of pressure he's getting from the, from Rome. That's right. Uh, we get an idea from the Bible that Nico was searching for more than what his religion provided at that point. Ooh, that's interesting. I like that. He was interested in he was interested in searching for more than what his religion provided at that point. I like that. I like that. I wish that we could touch on that a little bit more. Um, see, I think he misses his zeal about his faith. I think he would like things done right and well, but Jesus turns his focus. He's stuck in the middle. He's still searching. Okay, perfect. It's possible he came to Jesus eventually because he helped bury him. So I think he had a good heart. Beautiful. Hi, Roxana. <laughs> Welcome. All right, beautiful. Okay, let's let's uh, let's continue. Thank you so much for answering that. This is your stop. Wait, this is the far side of the market. Get out. No, no. This is the job. You drive so I don't walk to the market. It's too crowded. Out. I'll pay you double. Money won't buy this thing of me and my family if I am seen with you. Out! This is very unprofessional. Fire me. Yes, <laughs> good. will be very happy. Two. 
See, I like how they take their time to show you the setting just so you could see what where Matthew is and the conditions in which he's working and the rhythm of, of the location. You see the people's reactions to him. You're seeing his reactions to people. Are you the Messiah? Are you the Messiah? No, I'm not. You're seeing the, the, the brokenness, the, the poor. Please. You're late, Gaius. I know. Could you feel it? Feel what? Market's on fire today. Everybody's on edge. All it would take is one person to snap, and you are. Just something's wrong with job. my headphones. I can't hear. Again, I love how you're not just watching his expression, but they're showing you things that he's looking at to show you why he has that facial expression. the other low lives to protect your delicate sensibilities. Wow. What is that? I need materials. Spiral! <laughs> Sulfur, metals, uh, here's up. One wood. Go. Yes, you too. Well? Do your job. <laughs> Listen, I agreed to Quintus's request. Not a demand, because he should not demand anything of me. To stop Shabbat fishing, which was already our law, and by doing so was not a violation of my practice. And I will try to help this woman, even though it falls outside of my purview. But do not think of me as a tool to fix Roman problems. I will not continue to use my position of religious influence to benefit those who look down on my people, whether it's you or even someone like Quintus. So, I will perform this task, but I want it noted for your superiors. This is an exception. <laughs> He's not even phased by it. Can we go now? <laughs> this is... Yes. Sorry, this is how much... This is how much he doesn't even care that Nicodemus is, is emotional about this. Um, he's like, I know you think that you have some kind of power here. I think I, I know that you think that you can talk to me that way. I'll allow it. Just do what I asked you to. You don't have to like it, but you will do what I what I'm asking you. And uh, well, <laughs> he's gonna. Stay down, Simon. Suck dirt if you know what is good for you. Here's our boy Simon. Working the crowd. Too much, Joseph. Too powerful. You're too powerful. <laughs> like I tell you every time I see you. Like I tell my sister. Yes. 
Seriously, I can only take maybe two. <laughs> One. One more punch. One more and I'm done. This is his head! What was it you were saying? Something about your sister. You think if you keep hitting me hard enough, I won't be married to her anymore? That's why they call me White Hands, because of what I do to your liver. I don't want to do this, Joseph. Can we please stop fighting every week? I know you never trusted me, but I love your sister more than anything. I will stop fighting you. You will? But my brother won't. Your brother? Where is it written down, Andrew? Huh? Answer me that. I'm so foolish. How's a double knock out a push if it's two on one? Made up rule right there. Made up or in stone. I guess we lost. And I know better. <laughs> He's so calm. It's my fault. I, I talked you into it. Wine hands? Sex <laughs> <laughs> day is coming. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Rises away, Shabbat, and then. I realized, Sam. Thank you. We could lose the ball. What are you going to do? Don't know. Love from a stone. Where are you going? I'm going to work. Work? It's Shabbat in an hour. Well, the Pharisees make allowances for that if lives are at stake. No one's life is at stake. No, no, not this moment, but it's coming. What are you going to tell your bug eating friend about it? <laughs> No, 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 no. Just me. Not dragging into this. What about Eden? He's staying at her emas tonight. You're crazy. You know that? Nah. Just desperate. See, I'm going to pause it really quickly here just to mention something. This is why it's important to what degree Dallas is, the job that Dallas is doing here with this. This, this, just this one scene, the introduction to Simon and Andrew, uh, it could have gone by just so it, it, cheesy in a cheesy way, right? They could have just forced that information on us, but we see them fighting, we see them trying to rig a fight, right? Which tells us that they're trying to make money, and then the next sequence shows us why they need to make money. Tax season's coming, if they don't pay, if they don't pay this, they're going to lose the money. So now you backtrack and you add that previous puzzle piece and it shows you that this is why they were trying to rig the fight they're trying to make money so that they can pay the taxes so they can keep their boat um <laughs> so it's beautiful film filmmaking uh, honestly I, I, i'm actually su surprised that that uh there's something being made to this degree that is really well thought out the shots the way that they deliver the information it's it's beautiful work. Okay, so back back to it. Let's go. <laughs> How long has she been like this? Like what? I'm trying to help her, Rivka. All you're going to do is mess this place up. Then what? You're going to stop by and help clean? The demons Rabbi. that torment her soul will turn your place to dust. Even if you care nothing for her soul, at least... Lilith never hurt anyone that didn't hurt her first. Mm. Mostly. <laughs> she has these spells. We let her be and then she's as sweet as an angel again. 
Plus, it's all Lou. You can put an end to this. <laughs> what expression is that, Familia? I adjure you by the holy angels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, and Raziel. I adjure you, cursed dragon, diabolical legions. Come out! <laughs> I adjure you, spawn. Beelzebub, a bad turn and shield by the utterance of all the watchers and the holy ones. In the name of Adonai, God of the heavens, cease to deceive this human creature. I command you, in covenant with Abraham, in the names of Jacob. I said, the all-powerful Ash and I. Why are you from this innocent soul? The music. Swelling down. And it recognized him too. We finished here. They warned him, they told him not to go messing with her, right? Uh, okay, so. He walked away. What do you think went through his mind? Why do you think he walked away? Was it fear? Did he feel maybe that he couldn't do it? You know? Did he feel like maybe it was too big for him to handle? Or was he just not interested to begin with? Because he said, look, I'm doing you this favor. You know? I wonder, I wonder why. Let's go. Shabbat morning. Simon. Oh. Hello, love. Don't you, hello, love. <laughs> Why did you beat up Jehoshaphat? What? My own brother. He attacked me again. He needs to know the husband of his sister is strong. Hey, but Andrew had no right to jump Abraham from behind. Where are you getting this? Oh. <laughs> 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 Brothers. They are fantastic storytellers, no? Tellers of fantastic stories, yes. <laughs> Tellers of fantastic stories. You went such great detail. You must have really given them a pounding. Well, I was doing okay till Abe came out of nowhere. Cost me and Andrew a lot of money. Oh, no. They shouldn't cheat you like that when you are also cheating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pardon me. Oh, those, those grapes look really good. Don't. What? Don't you say that my family is troubled in the mind, Simon. Okay. 
We are colorful and fun. We're we colorful. Are stoic and purposeful. You think I'm stoic? <laughs> well, compared to me, together we're perfection. Stoic, huh? Never heard that before. Like <laughs> you and me, fire and water. Mm -hmm. I like it. So, how was Ima's Shabbat dinner? It was lovely. I was fishing. What? Yesterday's catch. Good news. Oh, 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 I got it. I'm sorry, Familia. Yeah. Really quickly. I was paying attention to the music, watching how they're interacting with each other. And the moment she brings up fishing, the music changes. Let's go back to about 2705 right here. Boom. Just have a listen, okay? Please. Because this is this is multidimensional uh, storytelling. Storytelling. They're telling a story on, on different layers, if you don't like the word dimensions. Different layer. Watch this. Stoic. Listen to this. Never heard that before. I like it. It's beautiful. You and me. Fire and water. Mm -hmm. I like it. So how was Ima's Shabbat dinner? It was lovely. I was fishing. What? Yesterday's catch. Beautiful work. Excellent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, put something in. Could be big. Good. Let's go to synagogue. I love that so much. And please go change. You still smell. It's like he was caught up in her world and then suddenly he was like, oh! Back to reality. What do we do when we are scared? We say the words. Adonai's words. Thus says the Lord who created you. Oh, Jacob, and he who formed you, oh, Israel, fear not. Notice how she keeps getting cut off. Those words keep getting cut off. Why? Because I, I, I'm assuming that because it says fear not, and she's reminded of the thing that she fears, and that fear is bigger than those words. Until those words become bigger than her fear, she's always going to be tormented by it. Let me know. Give, give us some hearts in the live chat if that speaks to you. <laughs> Extra points for MJ Savy for quoting Eminem. <laughs> okay, so she's back now, right? She's realizing like what she's done. Or she's realizing what the demon has done. I love that. Look at those shots, man. Look at that. Mm. you oh Jacob and he who created you oh Israel fear not fear not she always stops there see <laughs> see what's what's interesting is 
again, the multi-layered storytelling you can hear when she says, fear not, you hear little whispers there. You, you hear little whispers. I hated you. Oh, Israel. Fear not. See how everything changes? <laughs> yeah, her, her dad's voice is a reminder to not fear, but... Her mind being vulnerable in the way that it is, it shows her her fear. Fear, fear not the world. I have everything. She's trying to finish the words. She's not trusting the words anymore. Ah. Oh. And of course, the logical thing to do here for her is to escape in any way she can, right? So she turned, she turns to these places here. Alive. We had there was trouble. Come sit. I can stay long. I know. Please sit. We shot the boat from Cyprus. No, I don't have the strength. Come down. You know what they say. A mock a prevention. There is no preventing this soul. There is no cure. Come on, Lily. It's getting worse. Yesterday they brought in a holy man. Someone in Boyan. Maybe even from Jerusalem. I only remember bits and pieces and flashes. The Pharisee? He's a leader of the Pharisees and he ran away in terror. So One religious big shot just as full of it as the next. No, I am in <laughs> hell. There are, did a woman just raise her voice in here? <laughs> Please. Just try. Oh, he's so gentle, and he's like an acting father figure for her. I brought you something. You didn't have to. It's for your nephew. I'm one of your nephews. Thank you. Looks like it was loved for a very long time. Um, it used to hold something valuable. I don't need it anymore. You're beginning to scare me. You and everyone else. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this, Familia. In, in, what, what is it that it meant to her? She said it used to hold something valuable. What was that thing? Right? Of course, we know it was, a, it was the words, right? The words of Adonai. But let, let's look at what happened. She she has all these flashbacks of when she was a child, her father showing her how not to be afraid, right? But didn't prepare her for the day that he would die. So he dies. She's left alone. All of her identity was probably attached to her father. She had questions about his death, perhaps. Questions that maybe went unanswered. She gave up on that. And... Um, And lost herself, right? She started identifying not as Mary, but as as Lilith. And she, excuse me, she developed this new identity. But she still, excuse me, she still held on to her old self, to her old identity, which is Mary in that doll. Every time that she was forgetting who she was, she would pull it out. And suddenly she would remember, but this time it's not working. It's gotten, it's gotten a lot worse. So now she's giving up this thing. She's giving up hope. 
She's giving up on her old self. She's giving up that on, on herself that she doesn't that she's not going to be able to get over this one, right? But um, but uh, well, we we know what happens next. <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll just say it, leave it at that. But let's see some of your comments. Everyone leaves. Everyone dies. No one cares about her. There's no hope for salvation or redemption. She has even lost her born given name. Exactly. Her father's teachings have been drowned by the demonic. That's right. Um, <laughs> thank you, Erika, for that. I saw the comment. She said she can't find someone to watch it with her. Yes, we are. We're all familia here. So you have family here. MJ Savy says they almost certainly went unanswered as a woman in that time, she wouldn't be able to even ask the questions. Ah, oh, a married woman would ask her husband, but she uh, would not be able to. That's right. See, so she's lost. She's completely lost, right? Um, yeah. But perfect. Thank you so much. All right, let's 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 move forward here. Thank you. She's trying to hold on. There's something I need to do. I'm out. Eunuch! You listen good now. You drink that up, and then the next one, and then the next one. And then you stay here till you feel better, <laughs> or till hell comes. <laughs> and if it does, we face it together. Oh, I haven't shared my screen. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You like we're thirsty here. Okay. <laughs> I guess I got excited and I just started the video. Beautiful. Look at the moon. We'll be late to dinner. No. You did everything you could for her. Now put it out of your mind. I can never forget what I saw. Tonight, you are an honored guest. Leaders will expect you to perform oh. and to have your wits about you. Why? Why must I... Perform. Ooh. First I perform for Quintus. You then taught for God's law. Soldiers, love. then for, for the slum dwellers. And this, what, what sort of performance is this? When did Shabbat become theater? You oh. are the teacher of Israel. You do not have questions. You have answers. Mm. You have authority. You bring clarity, not confusion. Ah. Uh. Tell me, what do you see in the mirror? It is a cheap glass. I can barely make out anything at all. Sometimes I wonder if what we can know of Adonai and the law is just as blurred. What, what if we're not seeing the whole picture? What if... It's more beautiful and and more strange than we can ever imagine. That is the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Boy. <laughs> it might even be blasphemy. It was just a thought. And you will never utter those thoughts in public. Mm. A man is free to question in his heart. Yes! It in your heart. <laughs> This is a serious engagement. They expect an erudite teacher, not a doubting, blaspheming fool. Wow. Others saw what happened in the Red District. And what did they see? You rose to your rank on merit. You have dedicated your life's work to serve God, not to become him. Good PR. She reframed that beautifully. 
I failed. Stop it. It was a mistake to be there in the first place. But from now on, stick to the academy. Leave exorcism to the exorcist. <laughs> You're right. I should never have been there. You spoke the words. Oh. Demon did not respond. Demons. Many. Only God himself could have drawn them out. That that right there is important. Only God himself could have drove them out, right? Only God himself could have drove drove them out. Um, I was having a conversation with uh, with MJ Sabi just about this. Like, we have to make sure that when we are out here loving people and spreading God's love, that we aren't that we aren't performing. That we're not trying to act like good Christians. Okay, when when you're acting like good Christians, it's because you don't know you're not there yet. It's an act. You know that you're supposed to, you know, obey. You're supposed to not steal, not, not cheat, not lie. But if you get yourself straight, if you learn to question your heart, as Nico says, if you learn to question your heart, and you learn to 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 understand the inner working, your own inner workings, then there's no pretending. There's no act. It's just simply you just are. You're Christ-like because you've already stepped into it, because you understand the heart of Christ, because you understand your own heart and your own heart and the heart of Christ have merged together. It's not just an idea. It's about, it's about not pretending or not acting Christian. It's about being Christian, being Christ-like, not acting like, like Christ, right? So anyway, just have to say that. Here we go. I promise to remember to bring the screen up <laughs> again. Thank you so much. Nico. Here we go. I'm coming. And they caught himself. I love that you're seeing something else about Simon. Your first thought might be that I should never have set foot in the Red District at all. And I would say you are probably correct. Often we make decisions in haste in our desire to correct the lost soul. But how to explain what happened when I was there? Brothers, when we follow God's law to the letter, God is alive through us. Would you agree, people? Yes, Rabbi. Yes, and he lives through you and you and you if you follow his law. Now, imagine, if you can, one who heeds only wickedness for a lifetime. Demons root in wicked souls as pigs in filth. <laughs> a possession like this was fatal. And souls such as hers, sadly, are beyond all human aid. <laughs> Very well said. Human aid, beyond human aid. What is she thinking here? What is she feeling? What is she experiencing? Somebody pointed out that when she threw that paper, it turned into a dove. It's 
sound design. It's important. Ah, oh, ooh, ah. Okay, sorry. I love little things like this. Uh, I'm sorry. I, final interruption. I promise. Um, I love that because she's going in this direction, and her focus is down, and the Holy Spirit comes up above in the opposite direction. She turns her face upward and sees like turn back. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but that's, that's, that's how I want to see it. Leave me alone. <laughs> let's, let's look at that one more time. So she's looking down. You hear it? She takes a step back. You see that? She looks up. It's interrupted. And look, her attention is going back the other direction. This is storytelling, familia. It's beautiful storytelling. How is it, we need this. It's my life. Let me talk to the tax man. Matthew, don't trust you that much. <laughs> what if I told you I could save the boat and put us back in good standing? Nope. You don't even know what I'm going to say. Don't care. It's so <laughs> foolish. And I'm finally ready to face this. You know, this affects me too. Me and Eden. Maybe you should think of that the next time you feel like kicking off for a week. That is so like you. Or playing knucklebones at a hammer. Or cheating your brothers in law for some easy scratch. I met a guy. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> Get the papyrus. Simon met a guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just go hand over our livelihood. I'm done. You're done? As I'll ever be. Good. 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 <laughs> I love that. Something is stirring inside of him, right? Or is it just me? He's trying to stay detached, but he can't. Your last tribute was collected the first month of summer. Hmm. Your account is there for delinquent by 40 days. At a penalty rate of 10% weekly. Six weeks? That's right. You're lucky to not be in jail. Hey. He's saying 60% of penalties. What's that leave you with? Simon, I came with about 60% of what I owe. I can't even pay. We're ruined. Oh, now it's we. Uh, it's a high number. I say this based on your tribute history and future prospects. How do you choose to square your account? Are there gems inside? Just silver. Gold. Just open the purse. This will cover about half of your penalty balance. <laughs> half the penalty? My record indicate that you filed for an extension not once, not twice. You just needed a couple of extra days, man. I'm right. Extended rates compound at 15%. As collateral, you wow. listed a missing vessel and property at... All right, all right. I'm sorry about that. But my brother didn't mention was our arrangement with Quintus. You have business with Quintus? Yeah. My brother's debt. And a year gratis for both of us. This will be verified with Quintus directly. If there's any inconsistency... There won't be. Now, can I get my brother's not gold back? <laughs> This will be verified with Quintus if you are misinformed. I know, I know, he'll see. I 
What just happened? Don't speak, just walk. <laughs> Next. Mm. Well, fishing didn't exactly go like I planned the other night. What's that got to do? I caught nothing. Net after net after net empty. I catch a breeze around the point. All of a sudden, I know why the nets are empty. A merchant fleet, six boats across, netting everything. What do you do? I follow them. But maybe, <gasps> but maybe I'd catch them sleeping, snatch a net during cleanup, but it didn't work. Of course it did. <laughs> Desperate times. Yeah. I even anchored and swam in thinking maybe I could get scraps, but they loaded up like clockwork. Had carts with mules ready to move. So I sail home, dock up, and, and you know, this sniveling Roman standing on shore. I couldn't believe it. They never bothered patrolling on Shabbat. Oh, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't even bother trying to run. Good idea. Anyways. They don't care about any of our rules. But then I realize. They don't get the tax because we don't report any Shabbat catches. So I tell him, if he took me straight to Quintus, I'd let them know who caught more in one night than the guy they're arresting catches in a week. He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> so, you offered to turn in fishermen? No, not fishermen, merchants. And guess who walks up behind me? Guess. Quintus. <laughs> Stir, I guess. So yes, we talked, and what I said to Matthew was real. I don't like it. It's dangerous. Yeah, I was so sleeping outside. Besides, what's a merchant ever done for you? So what? They are... They are our people. We're clearing the way for the little we. guy. We? Leveling the playing field, yeah. We. You will be cursed if you inform on them. We not doing anything. Andy, that's... Fine. What a tough spot to be in. You better get moving, though. If you want to catch the tax man, might still be enough daylight to get out of the house before they take it. It's tough. Just let me see if Quintus can verify their story. If those Hebrew sea rats were lying, Quintus will have them killed and collect their tribute from you. She's just following it. <laughs> I like that you just hear the wind here. They'll meet again, right? So, did it work? <laughs> I'm sorry, did it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll move my I'll move my mic farther from me. We should talk, huh? Oh, what, huh? It's going to scratch me too. No, come on, not now. So, see. not now. How's this? Can you hear me I, better from here? Anyway. <laughs> I don't know what else I can do to help you. Give me that. Lots of it. That's not going to solve your problems. It's mm. meant to distract from no them. No more preaching. <laughs> Just give it to me. Lilith, please listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> Boom. He said, leave me. That's 
it's not very long. <laughs> Don't touch me. Oh. Lily. Lily. Lily, are you okay? I... I have to go. Leave me alone. The sound design. Leave me alone. Mary. Mary of Magdala. says the Lord who created you and he who formed you. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Love how the music swells there, it's beautiful. credits roll just to give people the proper um oh i guess it's gonna go to the next episode um just to give people the proper credit that they deserve for working on on this but oh that was that was beautiful beautiful work the pace of that the build up to that um i think i think that's a that's something where, that we can all relate to right i've had my moment where uh god reached out to me and said hey you belong to me and this is before i even knew anything about this story of of mary or 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 anything you know as an atheist he said that to me and that was enough for me to be like okay all right i give up my silly little fight right that's why these stories are important familia <laughs> that's why these stories are super important i'm really glad that this is hitting theaters everywhere and um and it gives more people the opportunity to invite someone to go to to go watch it with them um you know in a safe in a safe place i would love m for more of of this shows these shows or these type of content to be shown in theaters everywhere um but we we can we can actually help with that um so season three is coming out soon episode one and two are going to be in theaters uh, November 18th. If you haven't bought your tickets, you can buy them in the link that's in the description down below. Um, it's important that we go and watch this opening weekend because opening weekend will determine whether or not uh, there more more showings will be added to to this to episode one and two, and it will also determine whether or not uh, the chosen will be invited back to to premiere in theaters everywhere and we want this this is something we want because too many movies already are 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 taking over the main platform so it theaters everywhere sex violence um stories uh, you know that that aren't glorifying god are being shown and sorry let me take this off here are being shown and not enough of this is being shown. And this is our opportunity to put it on the big screen and, and make it so that it stays on the big screen. So if you haven't bought your tickets, you can use the link down below to buy your tickets and see if there's a theater near you. You might be surprised. I heard I saw a couple of people uh, comment on the previous video and they said that they didn't think that they were going to find a theater near them, but they did. So um, 
So find a theater near you and uh, and go check that out. All right, so that was the end of season of, of episode one, season season one. The question is, what was Jesus doing there, right? That, like you would never see a Pharisee enter in there, right? A Pharisee would never walk in there, not even to just listen to conversations or to see if someone needs needs uh, spiritual help, right? But Jesus, Jesus did. He hung out with with people who were drinking. He was there waiting for someone to to need him, <laughs> right? And that's what I love about it. Um, so let's uh, let's continue with the next episode. If you're ready with, for the next episode, give me some hearts and then we'll take a break after that. And then we'll come back with episode three and four. So we are going to be continuing this. Uh, you wanted that hug too. Oh, I wanted that hug too. I felt this hug later. Jackie, I, I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Jackie, by the way, and, and I know that it's okay for me to share a story. Jackie was an atheist when she came to this channel. She, she was introduced to The Chosen. She watched The Chosen with us uh, when this came out, season one and two. She stayed and continued watching more music, reactions with us. And she is no longer an atheist. She's a Christian now. She is involved in her church. She's been baptized. She is, I guess, going to Bible studies. And she's just someone who came that came to God because of the chosen. And this is this is another reason why it's important for us to be able to get this uh, in theaters and to be able to spread this and for people to 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 share uh, the chosen with more people. It's it's that important. I just, <laughs> I have to take a little breather breather after that because it just makes me very happy. It makes me happy that something like this is available and that, that Erica and I have a little bit to uh, play a little part and not have a little bit to do with your story, but we play a little part of, of that. Um, I'm really thankful that God put us in a position where we can share that and that, and that someone like, like uh, Jackie could be here. She mentioned that if it weren't for this show, she would still be an atheist today. And thank God that she's not. So thank you. Thank you all so much for, for being here. All right, here we go. You need a breather too. Okay, we're going to watch one more episode. We're going to watch one more episode and then we're going to take a breather and let you guys go have lunch or get a restroom break. And then after that, we'll see you again. But let's let's watch this, okay? So here we go. By the way, if you haven't already, please either gently push the like button or smash the like button, <laughs> whichever your preferred style is. It helps. Uh, it helps uh, get more. It helps YouTube let more people know people like this. They're watching this, and it'll notify more people that they can watch this live right now, so more people can join us. Uh, just hit that like button. Share it if you if you know somebody who hasn't watched this or what want to watch it. Share it again. I should have done that in the beginning, but but share it. Okay. Sandra, thank you so much for the super chat. I want to let you know that, that if you want to make a donation to the channel, you don't have to, but if you want to make a donation, I would prefer that you make the, the, the donation via uh, our PayPal uh, Venmo or cash app. It's totally your choice. You're not obligated to, of course, but it does help the channel. If you're interested in making the donation, you're more than welcome to make the donation there. Um, or on YouTube, if it's easier for you, I just know that YouTube takes a bigger percentage than any of the other ones. Um, if you really want to help the channel out, it'll help be a little more helpful if you do it this way. But again, you're not obligated to, but but it is appreciated. Okay, so here we go. You smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and let's get started. Let's go. Next episode. Hey there, I'm Dallas Jenkins, creator of The Chosen. Hey, I'm Dallas standing Jenkins. on our set right now in Texas to thank you for watching. Episode one just ended with a bang, and I hope it was impactful for you. And now that you know who the characters are, and now that Jesus is on the scene, things really start to pick up. I promise this will be quick. Don't worry. No commercials. <laughs> just asking you kindly to listen for a brief moment. All right, let's listen. We'll you right into episode two. I want to answer very quickly a very common question we get. Why isn't The Chosen on TV or the big streaming platforms? See, we know this is a very important story, and we must get it right. Hollywood's golden rule is they who have the gold make the rules. Huh. And because the content of this show is so important to get right, we believe we need to do it on our terms and go by our own rules. We don't have a big studio or network writing us a big check. We're doing everything outside the system. And that includes creating our own app, which is currently in every country in the world, translated into dozens of languages, and requires no costs, no subscription fees, no sign-up, nothing. 
And with brand new technology that our partners invented, you're able to watch it in multiple ways, including connecting it directly to your streaming device, free and easy. So if you make your way through season one, please check out all the other features in the app. We've really worked hard to make this an extraordinary experience for you. That's more than just a show. In the meantime, thank you again for watching. It really means a lot. And here's a sneak peek of what's coming the rest of the season. Oh, we've seen um, we've seen this. Let's uh, let's skip through this. But before before we get started, I just want to point out: yes, um, download the app if you haven't already. Um, and episode two now. Yes, we're gonna watch episode two right now. Um, he pointed something out. Uh, they're they're making the show on on their terms and that's important so thank you all for for watching this on the app thank you for donating to the chosen directly if those of you who have purchased tickets to go watch season three you're also helping future pr future productions and there's a lot of people that that are that uh have their hands on this and uh, your support really matters it really does matter so um here we go. I guess we're we're getting into episode two, season one. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, and we are watching on the uh, Angel Studio app, by the way, or Angel Studio website, angel.com. I see star. And if you think I'll fall for that, Eli, you must think I was born yesterday. Was there a Shabbat when you were little? Of course, since the time of the covenant. Every seven days. Why so many, Salta? Shabbat is a time for rest and time to honor three things. Family, our people, and God. Family like Salta and Sabah? Yes, and you, Ima and Abba, of course. Close friends are like family, too. Who else? We honor our fellow citizens on Sabah. Stranger, Salta? We are all God's people, even friends we haven't met. Uh -huh. Most important of all, we honor God in all his works. We rest because he rested on the seventh day. We rest to refresh our soul and know him better. Woman of valor, who can find her? This is the Eshet Chaim, an ode to women of valor. Far beyond jewels is her valley. Her husband's heart trusts in her. He should lack no fortune. There! May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. May God make you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. On the sixth day, and the heaven and earth and all their hosts were completed. And God finished it. Here we go, familia. <laughs> Let's get some emojis. Let's go get those fish. Get clapping hands. Some dancing emojis. Something. Show me how you're feeling. Some praying hands. How you feeling, familia? I like the attitude of the vo vocals here. Director of photography. Beautiful. We got all kinds of fish. <laughs> Excellent. Beautiful work. Sierra Capernaum, AD 26. Mary, you try. Oh, no, 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 I can't. Yes? 
Yeah, it I is. I have seen you braid, Leah. You are wonderful. Go ahead. Two pieces. How'd I do? Told you she was excellent. It is a shame only Ananias would see it. You know what would be great? Hmm. Do we have any flowers? Oh, I'll get the buttercup. Don't move. Sorry. Excuse me, sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. Sorry. I'm so sorry. He noticed. Again, brilliant filmmaking. Shows her, shows his expression. Shows her, shows his reaction. Shows her, back to him. See? Now they're both in frame. Beautiful work. And they show him leaving. Beautiful work. <laughs> What did he say? He detests you as much as I do. And? This was a horrible idea. Gaius, we must see Quintus. Oh, what? He does not need to clarify anything for you. I mean, do you have any idea who... No. Clearly, you do not. Dumb question. Idea of what? Who you are dealing with. Yes, I do. Really? Yes. He is the Roman occupying overseer of this region, and his primary responsibilities are to enforce the law and ensure... And then just I am aware of his responsibilities. I don't think you know what he's capable of. He's made a deal with this Simon person. I have valuable information related to his job. Have you ever heard of somebody making a decision based on a hunch? If he has, then I must let him know. Yes, you must. But listen, I don't want to have to carry your corpse out, so I'm going to get outside <laughs> for your replacement. Good luck. I don't understand. You are a fool. Publicanus requests an audience. Publicanus? Yes, Dominus. And are you his escort, Centurion? Yes. So where are you going? Securing the passageway, Praetor. Ah. Well done. Come on. <laughs> so a Jew tax collector and his escort demand to see the Praetor of Judea. It's urgent, they say. A matter of life and death. Well, last night burned very hot, and today I'm ash, so I'll get to the point. Why should I not kill you both? You first. <laughs> Dominus, I was recently approached by a man while at my tax collection. Faster. He was many months delinquent. To relieve the substantial amount Skip of debt... Skip to the end. Wow. Did you hire a man to spy on Jewish merchant vessels fishing on Shabbat to avoid taxation? Yes. <laughs> Senor District? Yes. <laughs> debts are forgiven. Surprise. <laughs> as well as those of his brother? His... Yes. Forgiven. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Preter. I do not find Simon reliable. Uh, Once he was deficient in his taxes, and when I pursued remedy, I discovered that he had spent an inordinate amount on games of chance at the local establishment. Additionally, based on his financial status, I questioned Simon's connections to the merchant class. In spite of his current intentions, I do not believe you have an accurate understanding of what he can deliver. <laughs> I'm sorry for this dishonor, Peter. Say your last prayer, Jew. Stay there a moment, Captain. Are you saying I made a bad deal? Uh, he's yes. like, don't say it. <laughs> he found his head like, ah, oh, we're dead. Where did he come from? <laughs> Here, Capernaum, Dominic. <laughs> My brothers across the world search for 
brave men to spare and recruit, but our power prohibits those very efforts for what sane person would stand up to the Roman Empire. I am sane. Yes, but a very different kind of sane. I'm sorry, I don't understand. That. So, you say this Simon isn't at the level of the merchant class at sea, but he claims they all spend time at the same establishments. Is that false? I'm afraid I'm not aware of their social interactions. Mm -hmm. But even if that were true, it would be highly unusual for Jewish men to betray one another. So says the Jew who collects taxes from them. <laughs> a different circumstance. Spare I... me. I admire it. Well, it won't surprise you to learn that to date, Simon has not fulfilled his obligation to uncover the tax evaders. He's in breach of contract. Not yet. But time may prove you out. Uh, what do you call? Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I may yet have need of your keen powers of observation, Matthew. A special assignment. I would relish the opportunity, Dominus. Of course you would. I'll be in touch, Matthew, for Capernaum. Thank you, Dominus. Thank you. Beautiful acting. That whole dialogue is just... So beautifully paced. All right, around for the table. Yeah. Yeah. No, you all need this to have a good time. What is this about? Oh, well, I guess <laughs> brothers Look at his face and sisters. So, so make sure Amos is inside there. He can't handle the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Tobiah, Jason, you'll need this to drown your sores after you use this game. And <laughs> you, I don't know your name, you're new, but wow, well, what? We're not afraid you'll steal our fish. We're afraid you'll steal our women. Look at this man. <laughs> Absalom, no? Only best better than Absalom. Stay away from low-hanging branches, my boy. <laughs> Stay away from steep staircases, old man. That's it, Saul. None for Jason. Oh, what did he do this time? Ask her wife. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking alone again, Simon? Where well, you merchants need twice the help at sea. I need twice the help on land. Oh, What's your bet? John, I see the hammer changed its rules on allowing children. Go get caught in the net. But you're here with a responsible adult. Uh, so make sure James and John get some too. Please, please, after you, please. <laughs> what is that? He knows how to work a crowd. What do you mean, brother? Your face. You happy? Oh, I'm handsome. I just happen to be wearing a happy face. <laughs> I'm handsome. I just happen to be wearing a happy face, he says. Buying <laughs> drinks for the merchants. You fattening your lambs before the slaughter? Yeah, <laughs> actually he is. Um, I don't want you to be miserable. You are, so I should be too, no? I want you to be serious. This is not a game. Oh, nothing wrong with enjoying a little financial freedom. A temporary reprieve from doom. A double knockout. Well, it's changed. Thanks, Holy. Get your footwork down, and next time yeah, you see Yeah, yeah, I'll practice. Thank you, Holy. Thank you. Temporary reprieve. No. Believe it or not, I don't like it either. But these men, they're not family. You and Eden are my Ooh. responsibility, not them. You two keep me up at night, not them. And you want to be rich. Yeah, well, I thought I would try the sentimental route. Maybe it's not my best look. <sighs> what do, how do we feel about this, Familia? Is it right? Is it right? I mean, we just have to ask these questions, right? Is it right that he's looking out for his family? Even though if it means betraying his other people, you know, to say the same people. He's created a division Right, he knows it's wrong to betray your own people, but he's created this division. This is not just my people; these are merchants, man. Right, and they're profiting, and they're they're putting my business at risk. Is it wrong what he's doing? How do you all feel about that? I, I'm I'm curious to see how every, everyone thinks here. And there's I don't think that there's a right or wrong answer because it depends on on the position you're taking. If you're looking at it from outside of Simon's position. If you're looking at it from Andrew's position, then, it, you know, it's wrong on so many levels. But if you're looking at it from Simon's position, it feels right, right? I, th I think it feels right. Caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. 
right? He's putting his family in danger by doing this. Uh, yeah, that's true. It's fine to look after your family, but at what cost? That's right. He's forgotten to, to talk to God about his situation. That's right. That's another, that's another element that we're missing. He's trying to take matters into his own hands, right? He's trying to solve this problem on his own. Um, it's not morally right to cheat others to help your own family. Your conscience uh, won't let you or your character is marred after people find out. That's true. That's right. The end does not justify the means. Beautiful. Thank you all so much for sharing your thoughts on this. Let's continue. Who's this, Nico? He's studying up on demons and exorcisms. <laughs> Nicodemus. Studying was. Apologies, Rabbi. What is so urgent, Shmuel? The judges of our Sanhedrin sent for you. The Avbedin himself requests your presence. God is good. What happened? <laughs> Look at the urgency, the pace, the music. It's beautiful. Rabbi Nicodemus of the Great Sanhedrin, we are greatly honored by your presence. The honor is mine. <laughs> Words. You just give it. I was given the impression there was a matter of some urgency. They are considering a formal inquiry. What are the charges? A miracle, Rabbi of Rabbis. This man's testimony is clear. His account, miraculous. The woman in the red quarter to whom you offer rights, she is redeemed. You, you saw her? Yes, teacher. Perfectly restored and radiant. Wait. At the hairdressers at the market. Men are not allowed at the hairdressers. Of course, they did not go in. <laughs> she was on an errand. I believed my eyes betrayed me, so I followed until I was certain. There can be no doubt. Teacher, you were successful. I told Silence. You. This is an unparalleled revelation. You yourself pointed out that the depth of her demonic oppression was beyond human. We want to send word to Jerusalem. At oh. A bit thing. With your permission, mm. I would like to investigate the sighting myself before you conduct a formal inquiry into this or have news of it spread. We will, of course, yield to your request, but may we inquire as to the reason for your reticence? Mm. Just as this exorcism took some time to prove effective, it may have a tentative hold. It could come as a shock for the young woman of her station to be poured over by your learned judges, where his mind's a familiar face. It is decided. Conduct your investigation, but please be efficient. News of this kind, it grows legs. Mm. All right, what is, what is Nicodemus faced with here, exactly? What is he faced with? He's being told that he did something here, that there's a, there's a miracle. And it's very easy for someone in his position to say, wait, wait, are you saying that I was successful? Yes, let's tell everyone I did it, right? It's very easy for him to take credit for that. But instead of taking credit for it, he's saying, wait, can you l let me conduct my own, my own investigation? And when he explains why he's granted this, uh, why would he do that? Like, what, what do you, how do we, what do we think is going on in the mind of Nicodemus that he cannot or won't, will not take credit for the miracle just yet? Because anybody else in his position, like I said, would be jumping 
at this opportunity to say, yes, I have gifts. I have, I'm special, especially after he said that she was beyond human help. So then that elevates him, right? So then now if he helped her, then that must mean that he has some kind of divine uh, help that, that, or divine favor that God sees him in a different light than everybody else. Right. So that, that's where it gets a little tricky here because if she was beyond human help and Nicodemus helped her, then what does that mean uh, for him? What does that mean for him? So oh, he knows that he couldn't have done it, but has no idea how it could, it, how it could have happened. Right. Um, his foundation has been shaken. He is searching for the truth and for meaning. That's beautiful, as we all should be seeking for the truth. He knew he'd lost her to the demons. He wants to be sure that possible it's his favor towards her. I think it was because he had said she was, was beyond human aid and isn't sure what it make of the whole situation. That's right. He's a head rabbi. They would grant the request. He needs to know for sure what happened and if it's because of him or something else beautiful he said only god can do this i think his heart is confused because he's asking so many questions god might be getting getting to him through her gotcha uh judges said that he himself said he was beyond human. yeah perfect yeah so we're on the same page right like He's conflicted because he's not sure that he did something, right? He knew it was most likely not anything he did. He's, he's, he's a fair man. I don't want to say he's a good man, but he's a fair man. He's really, he's really fair. I love that. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue. Andrew, <laughs> Andrew, will you help me, please? Help you with what? Barely see anything. Of course, it's the darkest night in weeks. Mm. Okay, we saw Huri Chaim and Baruch all come in, offloading and cleaning their holes. Of course. Tomorrow is Shabbat. Well, there's still a fleet out there. Yeah. <sighs> They're sailing late because they're not cleaning out the holds tonight. They're definitely sailing tomorrow. I'm guessing it's Amos. This is all a waste of time if it is. What do you mean? What I mean is Gideon and Tobiah sail with Amos. Well, I'm not saying it's Amos for sure or not. Whoever it is, they're definitely sailing tomorrow. We got them. We got them. Those are our brothers. Tobiah looks to you before his own father. So what? Well, it's my fault that a dumb kid doesn't know better? <laughs> uh, it's tricky. I keep waiting for you to tell me this is all part of a plan to double cross the Romans. Andrew, there is a crew out there. That crew is stealing food out of Eden's mouth. They're going to take our boat, maybe our lives. Maybe. But we made our choices, too. That's true. You think this was a choice? Hmm. You're not teaching today. I have research. Now don't be too long. Our guests will be arriving early. Oh. Nico, they are dear colleagues who admire you. They have been waiting weeks for the teacher of teachers to lead Shabbat. It will be like sharing loaves with God himself. Sharing? Wow. <laughs> Is there anyone hearing this? <laughs> it's a small gathering. We we'll just go through it quickly. I try to avoid spending too much time honoring God and our heritage. Oh, my God. 
Oh. Ouch. Do you want to lose that ugly nose of yours? Thank you. Only one language keeps their peace, Marcus. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's tough. One language. The language of violence keeping peace. That's oh, so backwards. Matthew, another unhappy citizen expressing his disapproval? I'd be fine. Oh, you're disgusting. Go home. I have a job to do. My father never allowed me to shirk responsibility. Well, he raised you right. You must have Roman blood. We don't speak. Huh. Jews are odd. People are. How can you not have a relationship with your own father? He says he has no son. Oh, that's sad. Next. I got them. At least I think they're right. That's what everyone else was getting. Oh, what did you get, Mary? Shabbat candles. Okay, I would not have guessed that. Mary served Shabbat dinner in a little while. In a long while. I barely remember how to do it. It will be great. I know how to make the bread. What, <laughs> what do you make part of a loaf of bread? If you're hosting Shabbat, sweetheart, you better get moving. Preparations might take you all afternoon. Really? Just to be safe. I haven't even swept. Get out of here. Get the fire going first thing. Mm, I'm excited. I'm a little terrified. After you need, rest the dough. Mm. What this kind of advice? What could go wrong? Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Here we go. It's one of my favorite scenes here. It's you. It's real. Lilith. No, no, please, don't be frightened. My name is Nicodemus. I, I minister to you, Lilith. I don't answer to that name. I am Mary. I was born Mary. But you were called Lilith, yes? Please, I must go. No, no, please, Mary. I, I am desperate for your help, Mary. I'm a, I'm a Pharisee. I'm visiting from Jerusalem. I'm a man of God. And I believe you have experienced a miracle, Mary. <laughs> Are you really a Pharisee? Yes. I'm sorry, I wasn't... Oh. I'm not here to enforce Jewish law. So how do you know who I am? You really don't remember me at all. I burned incense. I don't remember. It's all a blur. I can't go back into that. No, no, I don't want you to. I can't even imagine. But you, you are healed. That, that much is clear. I just want to understand how it happened. It makes two of us. <laughs> How long after my visit did you feel the change? It wasn't anything you did. Oh, he stops. Someone else. I love it. Someone else? He called me Mary. He said, I am his. I am redeemed. It was so. Who did this? I don't know his name. And even if I did, I could not tell you. Why not? His time for men to know has not yet come. His time for men? He performs miracles and. Six no credit? <laughs> What does he look like? Is he a member of Sanhedrin? Would you at least know him if you saw him again? I don't know why I am sharing this with you. I, I don't understand it myself. But here is what I can tell you. Here we go. There was one way. And now I am completely different. And the thing that happened in between was him. 
I will know him for the rest of my life. <laughs> I have to be home to prepare for Shabbat, as I'm sure you do. Hosting Shabbat dinner. It will be nothing like yours, I'm sure of that. I'm going to try. Shabbat Shalom, Nicodemus. How many relate to that, Familia? You were one thing and now you're completely different. Mary. Ooh, put some tajin on that. Not morning. Oh, she's like aggressively Would cutting that. We're seeing you then. <laughs> mm. The bread is wonderful. I know. How's fishing? It's fine. Really? Really? Surprised? Why would I be surprised? I don't know. What that mean? You haven't taken a catch to market for days. And yet you have uh, flour, vegetables. Did you sleep in a warm bed last night? In fits. Why are you baiting me? I don't understand what's happening. Nothing is you don't happening. You don't market. Your hours are upside down. And your face is frozen in worry. Don't tell me nothing is happening. We're in a challenging season right now. I just need to work hard to get through it. And I'll get caught up tonight. And I'll be right tonight? on the way. Tonight? What do you mean? I'm not happy about this either. I need to work tonight. You so need that to work on Shabbat. It's a special circumstance. I can't get into it right now. Andrew will be here for dinner as normal, and I'll just be gone for a few hours. Oh, well, would you like me to fix your Shabbat plate to take with you? Listen, love, I know this Don't is not Don't listen, ideal. love me. I'm not a child. I just need you to trust me on this. Please. I've, I've got this, Eden. <laughs> you answer to God, not me. Ooh. But next time, you answer to the both of us. <laughs> whatever this is, I don't have the strength for it twice. Mm. Yeah. If there's any left when they come back, I'll give it to you. No. How beautifully lit that is. Look at how much detail the camera is focusing on, just showing us the the turmoil in Nico's mind, in his spirit, his wife trying to keep the show going. On your mind, love. You don't want him to speak his mind. As my nan. Do you know the significance? Tell me. <sighs> 200 years ago, we were ruled by the Greek king Antiochus IV. He suppressed our religious observances. It wasn't until the Maccabees revolted and ushered in the Hasmonean dynasty that 
our worship was restored. You are as smart as you are handsome. So, Anyways. Who is responsible <laughs> for suppressing our worship now? Oh. I fear I know the answer. It is a beautiful tapestry. Should the artist have made it less so? To what purpose? Sadness? A conquered people? You are wise as you are beautiful. She always flips the coin and she made sense, but it didn't, shalom, it didn't fix shalom. the issue. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, honored rabbi. We are humbled and honored by your presence in Capernaum. You make us whole. Only God can do that. Ah. Shall we join the others? <laughs> Thank you. Try to get the seat near the head of the table. <clears throat> boy, oh boy. A woman of valor who can find. Mm. Okay, Jackie. Uh, thank you for letting us know. Thank you, Miss Maddie. This is a fine place. Oh, thank you. Are we on? Is it still on? Yes, Shula. How did you find us? I followed that meal, Barnaby. <laughs> <laughs> Looking as handsome as ever, Barnaby. <laughs> Lucky guess, Shula. <laughs> Lucky guess. <laughs> is this the place? If Maddie's here, it is. I know you. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm James. This is Thaddeus. We were told this would be a good place to come. We can leave if it's awkward. Oh, oh no. Oh, please come in. You're most welcome here. So, can we help? Oh, no. Well, uh, yes, I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you see food. That's a victory. If I'm not doing something or doing something wrong, you tell me. Oh, nonsense. It's already great. I can't remember the last time I was invited to Shabbat dinner. Me, never. You've never been to Shabbat? Of course I've been to one. Been to lots. Just never got invited. <laughs> 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 Who's the extra seat for? Well, uh, for Elijah. Am I right? I, I remember my mother always setting an extra place for Elijah. That's only for Passover. Just once a year it's say that. Then say that comes, I'll have a head start on setting up. <laughs> <laughs> Notes. <laughs> Can I read it for you, Mary? Stop it, Barnaby. I read better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Very impressive. Uh, oh, uh, is the first star out? Yes, let's eat. Oh, wait. Very popular. Or it's a Pharisee here to shut us down for letting you be here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mary. Is he welcome there? Good to see you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yep. Uh... <laughs> you okay if, if I... Oh. <laughs> yes, of course. Please come in. I just never thought you'd um... I, I have guests here. Uh, this is my first time. I don't know what I'm doing. Rabbi. Well, let me know these men. They are students of mine. I trust they have been polite. Of course. Who's message? Your guests can. I'm gonna stop it real quick, just just for that little tiny little message there, Familia. These are students of mine. I hope they've been kind. Is that what he said? I think he said that. I hope they've been kind. These are students of mine. I hope that they've been kind, familia. If we're all students of Christ, if we're all his students, how are we supposed to be? How are we supposed to be? 
We're supposed to be kind or polite. Thank you for, for the correction. Right? Imagine, imagine Christ comes and meets some of your friends and he says, oh, yes, he or she is a student of mine. I hope, I hope they've been polite. What, what would they say? <laughs> what would they say? All right, back Take to it. The seat. Yes. You already know these men. They are students of mine. I trust they have been polite. I trust that they've been Where's... polite. Your guests can take the seat. Yes, Mary. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes. I love her. She's, she's so helpful. The seat. I keep saying, of course, a lot. <laughs> um, Francis is the man I told you about who, um, who helped me. Oh, yes. Yeah, Mary told us so much about you. Oh, I hope not too much. <laughs> I'm Barnaby. This is Shula. She is blind. Ah. In case you couldn't tell. <laughs> I just love, I love, sorry, I, 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 I love their I dynamic. I actually know your name. I'm Jesus of Nazareth. Huh? Well, apparently something good can come from Nazareth. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He could take a joke. Come on, right? Mary, I'm honored to be here. Why don't you begin? Oh, no, I, I couldn't now that you are here. You must. Thank you, but this is your home. And I would love for you to do it. Okay. Just, uh, I'll just read from this now. Now the heavens and the earth were completed and all their hosts. And God completed on the seventh day his work that he did. And God. And God abstained on the seventh day. I love that. From all the work he did. And then God blessed the seventh day. And he hallowed it. For thereon he abstained from all the work that God created to do. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. You have lovingly and willingly given us. You have lovingly and willingly given us your Shabbat as an inheritance in memory of creation. Because this is the first day of our holy assemblies in memory of the exodus from Egypt. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the bread from the earth. <laughs> Amen. 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 Yeah, I love this, um, Sandra. Thank you so much for pointing out that uh, they're the contrast, right, in in the way that they're doing Shabbat. I love how like Mary's reading it and she sounds emotional about it, whereas Nicodemus and Andrew are sort of re reading it, sort of like a. Oh, let me pause it. Um, are reading it sort of. Like going through the motion of it right sort of in a way kind of mechanically and um and, and yeah it just shows a difference right and i love how jesus just shows up and i love the humor in that little interaction there uh everything about that last scene was just so beautiful the lighting was beautiful um the just how they bring us into the mindset of the characters right that that sort of that big pause that mary had after seeing jesus uh it says a lot about even though we didn't know what she was thinking, you know what she was thinking, right? She was completely taken by surprise. Uh, Nicodemus's inner conflict is is shown beautifully here. Uh, 
they had the, the, the relationship with his wife, right? And how they, they do love each other. Um, but there's a little bit of, of they're not seeing eye to eye, right? <laughs> and, and, and that much is obvious. But I just love the way that this is being filmed. Um, we're, we're catching up on season one and two. Um, we start off with here, episode one and two in this, in this live stream. We're going to take a quick pause. Um, say maybe half an hour. Actually, in a little bit, you'll see that I'm going to post the, the the next video. So just stay tuned for that. Um, I will see you all in about maybe half an hour to an hour, maybe. Okay. Um, just going to figure out food, and and then we're going to watch maybe one or two more episodes. Two episodes for sure. We'll watch two more episodes, and then we'll we'll uh, continue either. Uh, we'll continue on Monday for sure. We're going to take a break tomorrow, but thank you all so much for joining us. If you haven't already joined our prayer group, um, everyone goes through the struggles through no matter what you're dealing with. If you need prayer, either private prayer, or you just need to uh, ask the group for prayer, we're more than, more than happy to take your prayer requests as we're heading out. If you have anything that we could pray for you now, and you're not going to join us for the next episode, um, let us know what we could pray for you, and and we'll add it to our our prayer list. Um, also, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It'll help this channel out a lot. And for those of you who have not yet purchased tickets to the Chosen season three premiering in theaters November eighteenth, please be sure to click on the link down below in the description down below, and uh, and purchase your tickets. This is very important we, that we we all get get a chance to see it in theaters, and that um, you know the main platform which is theaters hollywood you know the world um has a chance to to show episodes episodes like this and the more tickets that they sell the more likely they'll be able to show either more showings of episode one and two and then have the chosen be invited again so we're gonna take a quick quick break and i'll see you all i'll see you all soon all right thanks for joining us thank you for being so loving and peaceful and patient with with me with the whole pausing thing and uh, and not showing the screen. Uh, we'll continue this in, in in a bit. Okay. All right.